The human heart consists of four chambers and four valves. The valves prevent the backflow, or regurgitation, of blood between the chambers and the great vessels. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The blood pushes open the right atrioventricular, or tricuspid valve, and enters the right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps this blood through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk and arteries, which carry it to the lungs for oxygenation. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins. The blood pushes open the left atrioventricular bicuspid or mitral valve and enters the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps this blood through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta so it can be transported to the rest of the body. Both the right and left sides of the heart contract at the same time, so the heart is really a combination of two pumps. The blood flow to and from the lungs is called pulmonary circulation. The blood flow to and from the rest of the body is called systemic circulation. Mitral insufficiency, also known as mitral regurgitation, happens when the mitral valve leaks, causing blood to flow backwards from the left ventricle into the left atrium when the left ventricle contracts. Aortic insufficiency, also known as aortic regurgitation, happens when the aortic pulmonary valve leaks. It causes blood to flow backwards from the aorta into the left ventricle when the left ventricle relaxes. Both of these conditions can result in insufficient volumes of blood being pumped into the systemic circulation, causing a reduced blood supply to the body's tissues and organs. Blood may also back up within the pulmonary circulatory system, causing pulmonary edema, a potentially life-threatening condition.